everyone. Uh, today we're going to be touching up on a different topic and I will be sharing a makeup look with you. With Valentine's Day just around the corner, it really inspired me. I love Valentine's Day. I love the roses and all the love in the air. So I wanted to give a bit of a Valentine's Day themed inspired look. So as you can see, it's very pink and girly and cutesy. Perfect for like a date or a girl's night out. Whatever you guys are doing on Valentine's Day, something for you guys to try and experiment with. So yeah, let's get into it. So yeah, all my skincare is done. I did my moisturizer, eye cream, cleanse my skin properly. All of that is now done. So now I'm just gonna get into the look. So the first thing I'm going to put on my skin is this Milk Hydro Primer, basically. I, I normally don't wear primer like on the, like the daytime just because my sunscreen kind of acts as a primer almost, it's kind of like two in one. But uh, primer is good for like when I'm not wearing sunscreen stuff, I've got like a nighttime date basically. Primer is good for that. Yeah, it just helps kind of, I feel like the texture of your skin is really important for when you are doing your makeup. And this one's really like hydrating and milk is just like a really good brand really it does like feel like a really like grip everything while it's giving my skin like really plump hydration so i know that underneath my makeup this is just gonna look gorgeous my skin's gonna look smooth and like plump and radiant some of the other primers I've, I've tried, it's definitely like gloopy, but like hydrating gloop. When I'm doing my eye makeup and I'm like going for like a glam look or whatever, especially you can see I've got some dark circles. And if you've got, if you have a little bit more mature skin and you've got wrinkles under the eye, this is really, really, or puffiness really, this is really good. So I use these Marine Energy Eye Masks and I will put them on underneath my eye while I'm doing my eye makeup. Uh, essentially because it just kind of helps hydrate the area get rid of any puffiness I mean it essentially acts um, as like a primer underneath your eye it is more like a skincare thing so you don't have to do it for makeup but I think it really really works well underneath your makeup it just really helps your concealer set it's just a nice treat well in, you know if you've got the time you're gonna spend all that time doing your eye makeup why not treat underneath your eyes while you're doing it. And the other thing I've noticed, something that this really, really helps with, I don't know if you've seen like some of those Instagram videos and the, and the other makeup tutorials, when people want to get that really nice, like, you know, like crease here, and they don't want the makeup to fall up past here. This just kind of does that. My eyeshadow won't pass, so it gives me that kind of cut crease without me having to put tape on the, I hate, watching those videos literally made me cringe. I was like, why are you putting tape underneath? The most delicate part of your face so if you want to do that don't put tape on your face just like go for this this piece will give you that look without giving you wrinkles now i'll just let this sit underneath my eyes while i am doing my eye makeup so the palette that i'm going with not too surprisingly i actually love this palette and it's really good as you can say i'm wearing a lot of pinks and valentine's day is all about like, being those pinks and there's this like soft girly colors out so I'm going for the Just Peachy Matte Palette by Too Faced and I love this palette. I mean I use this palette just even though it's not Valentine's Day if it's like a nice summer. Those pinky tones just work really well on my skin tone. So I'm first going to use this poofy brush, uh, this one, and this is the BO6. So I'll use this big poofy brush to kind of sweep peach meringue, which is this uh, white colour all over my eyes so yeah I've got make I've got mirror here as well so if you see me like looking as well yeah you just sweep this I sweep this across my entire eyelid it just acts like a really nice base basically to apply the rest of your colors on make sure to put it up here as well if you want to brighten that area the most right so once i've done that i'm gonna go with my second uh sweep color which is going to be uh just peachy so i'm just gonna go in with the same brush tap the excess off and this time i'm not going to sweep all over i'm just going to sweep from the middle out basically so here and here is where I'm going to sweep it. 
I like using the big poofy brushes because it just kind of helps when you want to sweep the colour over. It just kind of helps do that. So as you can see, there's like a little bit of blushy pink in my eyes, but there's nothing too crazy. Now you can still see the white that to really kind of brighten my and make my eyes look a little bit bigger as well. I do love that like peach meringue colour, like it just really helps set everything. Okay, I like to go do my corners, like my, the ear ducts at the end, because uh, that's the colour that, that's the bit that I want to like make pop the most. Uh, so now we're going to actually give the kind of a, the smoky eye look that we are, we are kind of going for. Um, so now we're going with like a little bit more of a um, thicker brush almost like this because this will really hold the cut the pigment and really give you a little bit more precision than the other brushes the kind of flippy brushes are and this is a, a C06 uh, that we're using and we're just gonna go with just the peachy pinch as you can see I've just gone in and this has gone really nice and peachy and pink and I was really really brought up that pink in the eye so yeah you just take that color and you I literally just went in the creases here really dab it in and work it into those eyes and yeah it's now this is the one that really brings that pop of pink and i love putting it in the in the crease because like it really makes your eyes just look so beautiful and big yeah now we're gonna just gonna smoke it out and i've changed the brush into a little slant and a little bit smaller brush just to give you a little bit more control for that smoky bit that you need to get and this is the b04 brush and then this will give me that smoky control that i need because at the moment it's really nice and pretty but you just kind of it looks a bit flat so i just need to bring a little bit more depth into my eyes first we'll go in with just right here and i'm just going to put a little bit of color on it because i don't want to remove the the brightness of of the pink i just want to subdue it a little bit just to give it a little bit more depth give my eyes a little bit more depth so i put a little bit on same thing tap it away now you take the corners and you just put a little bit in your corner always start from the corner and then work inwards because then it gives you that control and gives you that you precision that you kind of need and always work along the crease because like that's where you want that fold is where you will give make your eyes look bigger and give that depth so i'm now just working a little bit inwards to my crease and really just like putting a more pressure on there so i'm not getting rid of that pink but i'm giving that crease more depth Now I'm giving my smoky the same colour just to give my eyes more depth. I'm going to take it on the corners here and just brush it on the underneath as well. By way of waterliner. Just a little bit. Just to give it that more depth. Same colour. So different technique. And you want to do this very lightly, otherwise you'll make all your entire eye look the same colour. That's not what you want. This is where you need good brushes with good precision. Right, I think we're done with this colour. So now the, the pink and the peachy and the cuteness is still there, but we've added a little bit more smoke, a little bit more lusser um, to the eyes just to give it a little bit more sexy look. Now I'm using the same brush because this is this is a good brush for like the angles of smoke, and I'm actually going to add a little bit more glitter and a little bit more smoke to it using the peach sangria, which is this colour over here, because it's such a lovely glossy pink colour that really just brings like brightness to the eye but still giving me that smoky look. And this one is really, really pigmented. So I'm really gonna put a little bit on the corners and then I work inwards and the same technique, but very careful with this color because it is so glittery and pigmented. See, just that little bit, it's just elevated. Look at this eye and look at this eye. It's just elevated that little bit more. And I'm gonna use the same just right color and then do the same thing at the top waterline only in the corners though because this colour is very pigmented right now i'm gonna go in with the a16 brush go into the same peach sangria colour i'm only gonna put a little bit of it on my brush and this is gonna be just so i can follow that colour down a little bit to give it that close finish look um otherwise it just looks a little bit odd sometimes so i'm just gonna use a little bit of it only in in this corner of the eye only a little bit of it don't worry about some of it going to the corners when you put concealer on makeup on that kind of helps clean it up a little bit now i'm going to go into the inner and brighten up this inner corners of my eyes the tear ducts just to give it a bit more of a pop 
I'm gonna use this brush here, which is the A12 small, kind of gives you that control, works in smaller areas. I'm gonna go in with the peaches and cream color, which is just over here. So again, dab, lather that brush in that color, tap, 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 and then work in the inner corners. Just like that, and brighten up that corner of your eye area. Using the same kind of technique that we were using before with the with the smoky at the end, when you're smoking the inner as well, work from the corner and then work blend it outwards. And then there you'll just get a little bit more control over what you want. And it'll give you that natural smoke look. Same colour, just to brighten this bit up, I'm just going to put a little bit just on the brow bone as well, to brighten that up. Oh, that's pretty! And that's it for the shadows. I've got like a cute, smoky, you can wear this in the day. I mean, it's a little bit much for the day, but it'd be quite pretty at night if you're wearing a nice pink dress. Nice pink, smoky look. So yeah, we're gonna take these off because we're now done with the eyeshadow bit. You can take your ring fingers and just tap, tap, tap if you've got any extra product um, underneath them into your skin. And now we're gonna go in with the base makeup. I really like doing the eyeshadow first and then doing the base makeup because I don't know about you guys, but when I've put, spent all that time on my complexion and my concealer and my foundation and then you get fallout from like your eyeshadow, it just ruins your entire look and just then you've got like pink hair and your eyes just look puffy. So I like doing shadow first and even if it's gotten a little bit off, like as you can see some of it's bleeded here, I can clean that up with my foundation and I can clean that up with my concealer. So all good. Okay, we're going to start with foundation first, and I'm using the uh, Chantella foundation. I love this foundation because it's so hydrating, it's buildable, it's dewy, it's got really good ingredients in it. It just gives me a really nice glowy natural finish. Um, it's not very long wearing, like you do need to set it if you want it to be long wearing. It is more of a lightweight foundation, but is buildable. This is oil free gel foundation, it's future skin by Chantella, uh, and I'm in the shade Sand. So yeah, I, sometimes when I'm going for a date or something, I will wear a bit more of a heavy duty foundation. Uh, but at the moment, I just care more about my skin and what I put on my skin. So I do want something a little bit more breathable, a little bit more nice. And yeah, this one's just really, really like good for that. I'm using the Ecta A03, just a little flat foundation brush. I mean, I'm going to use a beauty blender ever because I love using a beauty blender. Um, but this just helps me kind of get the product out of the jar in a hygienic way and just kind of control how much I put on there. So I'm just going to go dab, dab, dab up here bring some on my neck don't forget to put foundation on your neck and on the side of your neck otherwise i hate it when you just see like someone's face is like orange and then their neck is white so yeah now i've got like a good amount of foundation and this is buildable so like if i need more i'll, I'll go over it then i'm going to use my beauty blenders a damp beauty blender not wet a little bit damp and then i can use the bottom of it and i can just blend that out so yeah, this just gives me a really natural finish. It's not very heavy duty at all. So if I do need something a bit more like heavy duty, but if I'm if I'm doing a photo shoot or something, this may not be the best one. But I wear this most of the time because I just like a light foundation so my skin feels like you can breathe. And like you guys know, I'm like a total skincare junkie, and I just don't want makeup that's gonna ruin my skin. So this one's really like hydrating and breathable and it's like I said it's buildable so if I want a little bit more co coverage just, just put some more on. It is the thing with this is though it's not very long duty like you have to set it properly if you want it to last all day like you may need a setting spray or like a really good setting powder because it will just it just comes off otherwise uh, and if you touch your face a lot as well it will it will come off in your face like as for some of the other foundations I've used before like the Estee Lauder one. I used literally for years. Like that one just stays on my face all day. But it's, it's those matte kind of foundation, long lasting foundations, they're drying. Like they're drying to your skin. That's what this is not drying. It's really hydrating and natural looking as well. Like it makes my skin look natural. It doesn't, I don't look like I'm kicked on. So I'm just gonna put a little bit more on because I keep brightening up in certain areas and I'm sure my concealer will do some of the heavy, masking some more my cheeks some more my forehead i love a good beauty blender i honestly don't know how we did our makeup before this like this is why we probably look all so patchy nothing else gives you that natural looking finish like a beauty blender does beauty blender 
just does the trick. I take a little bit, but not too much. I use my eyes and you can see I've already cleared up some of that. But my concealer is going to do the most of that kind of job. So that's foundation done. It's all over my neck, it's the back of my neck. Ooh, my eyes, I'm ready to go. I take a little bit on my lips as well. Just helps with the lipstick that you're going to put on. Now I'm gonna go in with the concealer. And I'm using this concealer brush by Spectre again. I've just got the whole Spectre like rose gold color, um, set. Uh, and this is A18, this one, flat concealer brush. And I'm using the uh, Glossier Stretch Concealer in the shade G6. This one is a good concealer. It's not amazing. It's really good at dark circles and really, really good at concealing. Setting it is the main difficulty, but like it does a really good job of like really, really concealing those dark circles. So I'm gonna use it basically underneath my eyes and I kind of just, with a brush, guide it a little bit. And this is where I will really make sure I clean up any of my mistakes that I've made with my shadow. I'm also gonna use some of it like to brighten certain areas so like my forehead, where you want your skin to, my nose bridge, basically where you'd put your highlighter, it's a good base for your highlighter, cupid's bow, a little bit on my chin and I'm also using, gonna use it on my cheeks where I've got some of the spots, just some of those troubled areas that need a little bit more love and concealment. So now that I look a little bit patchy, <laughs> I'm gonna go back in with my beauty blender the other way around now. So this bit, because this really helps you get the, that tip, really helps you get control and go underneath my eyes. And the... And with this concealer, a little does go like a long way. And that, you know, the patches that I put on before that just helps so much just really helps your makeup set and just help to concealer work so much better so that's it for concealer now i'll probably put a little bit more on uh after i've set my makeup just because sometimes i need to but now we're gonna go in to actually set this beautiful foundation up and give you that base layer on top of it i need a big poofy brush which is the a00 brush which is really really big and poofy and use the uh, Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. This is pretty good powder. Again, I feel like the best makeup stuff I've found can be initially hard to work with. Again, you just kind of, I put my brush in like this, and then I, um, and then you just kind of tap it into your skin. You can also use a beauty blender for this bit, and I probably will use a beauty blender for the part to get this, but the brush is really good to getting like, to just sweep the product area your face. And I only use a little bit. I found that the best beauty products at first can be a little bit hard to work with. Like I found this like this powder hard to work with as well. Sometimes I felt like it took my, my foundation off, especially if I'm wearing like a really easy to come up foundation. Um, but you just gotta like learn how to use these kind of products. Uh, so if, to set and then, cause I've got this like gloss under off my concealer. I'm then gonna go in, with my beauty blender into the Laurel Mercier translucent powder, the tip bit, the bit that I need the control. Just go in, got a little bit on, and then I'm gonna go in and pat that in. I know some people you bake, but I ain't got time for that. And there we go. I may go in with that concealer a little bit more. So I've got a little bit more concealer just on this brush. I'm just gonna go in and tap the edge. I want that brightness from the concealer that's the the powder just kind of like matte away but I want to set it so it's not too shiny and it doesn't like come off basically so I only really put a little bit where I really really need that brightness and then it works really well actually with powder on top um so I've patted that in all right so we have now done a really good base face like we've got nice base Nice concealer already and set. Now we need to bring a little bit more depth into our face. Otherwise it just looks a bit flat. So the first thing I will be using to bring that depth is the Fenty Beauty Match Stick. Um, and this is in the colour Coca. Yeah, it's a really good product. I really like the kind of stick foundation, the stick 
contours because they give you that control without making your skin look really like dry and patchy because put powder on for more powder it's just gonna look so powdery uh, especially if you don't have oily skin and you have more dry I have a combo skin so some areas can be dry and it just looks really bad like flaky and dry and so I'm going to use these really early in the corners of my cheekbones. I'm going to use it here where, where it's the darkest. Put a little bit there. Put a little bit on the other side. Only a little bit on my temples. And then on this jaw bit here. And then the idea is to blend it out. can also use a brush but because that matchstick has such good precision, I only really need to blend it out. I don't really need to draw. You can use a brush to actually brush on there and then draw with that brush. But you can do this if you ever struggle to find your teeth folks, like pucker up like a little fish. And there it is. Sometimes you need to make faces to find your face. So let's now bring a little bit more depth into my face but I don't want to go overboard with that stick because I find it's really really pigmented and it works the best like in the really deep corners so now for the rest of the contouring I'm going to use the Hoola Benefit uh, con this is like a really good bronzer this is more of a bronzer than it is like a contour so um, this will help just kind of warm up the corners of my face uh, so I'm using the AO5 Spectra brush again tap it off and then follow that line Follow the jawline and you can follow this one up a little bit more because this brush will cover more areas than. So now the depth is in my face. I always just need to give you a little bit like a blush. So naturally I'll be going into a blush. Again, like I said, if I wear way too much powdery stuff, it just looks really like cakey and not very natural so I like to use like really quick products as much as I can so I'm now going in with the cloud paint by Glossier in the color haze uh, and this I've mentioned this product a few times now it's really really pigmented so you only really need like the tiniest amount on your fingers I just use my fingers to work this one and there's no there's no brushes no magic in this one uh, so I'm putting just the tiniest amount on my finger you can see that's it that's all you need so I take my other finger and I just kind of Smile to find those like, like little dimples of your cheek and then just kind of tap it in. See how tiny much I use and like it's really really done the job. There we go. So I always like, your fingers can do the job but like I like to use a little bit of beauty blender and just kind of make sure I spread it and naturalize it with the rest of my makeup and just set that blush in and there we go got a little bit of a glow to my face the spectre a10 flat really thin highlighter brush and i'm gonna go into this a bobby brown highlighter trio that i got it's got three colors in there there is nectar glow pink glow and golden bronze glow so like depending on what you want to go for like this is really good if you want to go for that like golden goddess look this is really good for like normal natural really like popping highlighter and this is really good for like they give me that cheeky pink one i'm gonna kind of use two so first i'm gonna go in with this one over here because that one's just really lovely on your face um i'm just kind of taking it swiping it like this getting it on the brush tap 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 always tap the access off and then finding where i put my concealer to begin with finding the heights of my face so Bringing it down to my nose. I do this to my nose. This looks so cute. And then I go in just a little bit here. Uh, now I'm going to go with the pink one because I want that pink glow. Pink. Don't be too afraid of highlighter, but do be a little bit. Like, be care careful that you haven't just made yourself look like a disco ball. <laughs> So be precision with this. this is why I like this brush because it helps you get that precision. So now that the face is done, you've put depth into it, you gave yourself that colour into your cheeks, we're gonna go back into the eyes because the shadow is good but you need to like give it a little, your life a little bit more life. 
so you know I said we gotta brighten up these these inner corners. We are girls, we are. I'm gonna use the same brush as I did before, the Spectre A12 that we were using for the ear, um, ear ducts before. And this time I'm gonna use my highlighter. So the same pink, pink highlighter, the pink gold glow from Bobbi Brown. We're gonna use that and we're gonna go in there. And we're gonna cover that brush with that lovely highlighter. <laughs> Tap access and now we're gonna go into the ear duct. Again, work in, from in to outwards. Give yourself that glittery, pink glow. Right, so now I've done both my top ones. Now you can put just a little bit on the edges of your bottom just to give that. Make your eyes look bigger again. Just a little bit. I just go like this. The ends, just like this. Not, not too crazy. Right, so we've kind of done the, the face now, the eyes are done, all the highlighter, everything is set. Now, only one thing remaining is your lips. Now, quite important part, I must say. Uh, and I love Charlotte Tilbury products, so that's what we're using today. Um, and first, I'm going to go within with the Lip Cheat Reshape Resize Lip Liner in the colour Bond Girl. It's the one we're going to be using nice and sharp and pointy and then we're just going to line the outer corners of our lips and give it that nice shape if you want to make your lips look bigger you can overline a little bit i just tend to follow the natural shape of my lip so as you can see start off on the bottom and just follow the natural lip i also like to go over my actual lip now I'm going to go in with the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick and this is in the same Bond Girl colour. I'm actually just go over my lips, all over my lips uh, with that colour. And that is it, look complete. It's a very soft, pink, glowy, cute little look. Uh, you can wear this up day you can wear it for a girls night out whatever you're doing on valentine's day it is quite girly quite pink and quite cutesy but yeah that's it i uh, hope you like guys enjoy the video and hope you find my tips useful don't forget to uh, leave a comment let me know what you think let me know what kind of look you're going for uh, on valentine's day if you've got anything special planned and yeah don't forget to like and subscribe bye guys